Question 9 of the GED Math Practice Test Part 1, that's the part with calculator. It says a jet fighter pilot is flying over a testing ground to determine how many windows in a specially designed building would break at certain speeds. According to the chart below, how many windows will break if a jet flies March 4? Okay, that's uh, I think machine 4. If a jet flies March 4, okay? Alright, so we have this uh, chart here. It also says, assume that the number of windows broken rises linearly, linearly with the velocity of the aircraft, okay? So, okay, we have to assume that the number of windows broken rises linearly with the velocity of the what, aircraft. That is, linearly means um, as, as the velocity increases, the number of windows broken also increases okay so it's like linear the same just like saying v varies directly proportional to the number of windows what broken okay so linear is what as velocity rises number of windows what broken that's what the statement means okay so from here from our chart all right we can see that um that uh, when he drives when he flies match four we have um, one to 124 windows broken. When he flies March 5, we have 310 windows broken. When he flies March 8, we have what 496 what windows broken. From here, we can see something here. We can see that the difference between um, each match, okay, that's 5 minus 2 is what 3, and 8 minus what 5 is what. Is also 3 you can see the linear relationship here and 310 minus uh, 124 will give us what we give us what uh, 186 and 496 minus 3110 will also give us what 186 so it shows the linear what relationship but the uh, question here says uh, what's the question it says how many windows will break if a jet flies March 4 okay so we know that uh for velocity okay and uh, window uh, windows broken okay uh for velocity we this is like uh, we're going to do proportion here for velocity at uh, three march okay that's at three march since we have uh, the, the difference between each of the matches three, we have how many windows broken at three match? We have 186. So for four match, how many windows are we going to have broken? It will be what? X. So all we need to do here is what? We'll say in proportion, we have three over four equal to what? 186 over X. So we cross multiply. So we when we cross multiply here, we have 3 times x, which is 3x, is equal to 186 times 4. Okay? And what is 186 times 4? We have what? 7, 4, 4. And we have 3x here. Divide both sides by 3. Okay? 3 divided by 7, 4, 4 will give us what? x will give us what? 2, 4, 8. Okay? So we're going to have 2, 4, 8 what? Windows broken. Okay? At match what? 4. Alright? So this is our answer. And our right option here is option 3.